There are hundreds of people here preparing to sign up for the Ukrainian army, but just take a listen. It is curiously quiet. These are men, they are all men, lost in thought. They're about to commit to an uncertain, perilous future, but here you can feel the emotions that push so many to volunteer. It's my duty. I want to be useful. I want to help. I want to protect. I want to fight back. I want my family to return to Ukraine as soon as is possible. And I will do my best. Down the road and they're waiting for something different, to get into the shop that sells camouflage clothing and military uniforms. Many are keen to be prepared for whatever comes next. Ukraine is a nation that's coalescing around a war effort. We know why we are here. We know why we defend our country and our guys that are actually standing there and fighting uh, Russian military forces, they know what they are doing. Those guys, they don't. We know what we are doing and that's why we will win. In truth, pride on its own won't win battles. That needs people allied with purpose. Ukraine's army has grown enormously over the past decade. It's now one of the biggest in Europe with hundreds of thousands of other soldiers in reserve. And now across this country, there are these long queues of people ready to volunteer. As ever, what strikes you about the people of Ukraine is their determination, their resilience, their spirit. Over at Lviv's train station, tens of thousands of people arrive from the nation's scorched cities in the east. Lots of passengers flee west, not many go the other way. We meet Mark, who's come from Bedford, a veteran of the British Army. He's now here to fight for Ukraine. I asked him why. Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian military, Zelensky, everything is just, everything's been inspiring. Even like the country surrounding, everybody's just like, it's like galvanised everybody. It's galvanised literally the whole world near enough. I've got no illusions, I've got no romantic ideas of war or like I'm going to be some hero or make a difference or any of this, but it's, it's what I do. I mean, you could die here. Yeah, that's a possibility. Get wounded, which would be worse, with like life changing injuries or something. How long do you think you might be out here for? As long as it takes. It depends on the situation, how it unfolds, what happens with me. This man waits to say goodbye to his family. They are going west to safety. He will now head east to fight. For all the defiance, Ukraine is being torn apart. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Lviv.